Fake news, two words that have dominated conversation about the role of the media in the last three years, the Trump years, where it's Donald Trump who came up with the phrase. Well, this summer, a play called Fake News, in which a young journalist major scoop turns out to be a major error that risks his entire career, will be performed at the Edinburgh Fringe. And joining us from Edinburgh, Osman Bay, who wrote the play, stars in the play, and uh, used to work here, Osman. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Hi, Stephen. How are you? It's good to speak to you again. We did work together many years ago, and it's great to be on this side of the camera now. <laughs> I bet it is. Uh, look, talk us through the play. Why did you want to write about this? Uh, so the reason why I wrote this play is because, well, so as I just suggested, you know, I've been a journalist for many years. I've worked at Sky and other organizations. And uh, I got to the point where I was just genuinely fed up of Donald Trump and other people saying things like fake news or casting aspersions on the media or, you know, CNN, which is a company that I then went on to work for. And it's like this is... A, inaccurate, and B, it's unfair, and it's kind of insulting to sort of the great people who I've worked with over the years and the great work that people do. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to take Max into my own hands. I'm going to tell this story of how I think, from my experience, the media actually works. And uh, I kind of wanted it to be something that really sort of showcased how ordinary people make up the media. It's not just people in these ivory towers pushing some agenda. You know, as you'll know, you meet weird and wonderful people. I did night shifts on Sunrise, and I can tell you there's all manner of people who you meet. And actually, night shifts are a theme of this play. But I really wanted to show what the media is really like and to show that it's just normal people doing the best they can with, frankly, limited resources. So that's the, sort of my motivation in writing this. Yeah, talking to strange people, Osborne. Mike Kumar's producing this show, so you know how weird it's... <laughs> Hi, Mike. You, you, know, you know how weird it's going to be. Um, yeah. Look, in, in, in terms of... How, how do you think this is going to go down with the crowds? Because, I mean, you'd imagine that something which is quite sort of lefty, like the Edinburgh Fringe, there's going to be a lot of people out there who actually want to have a go at mainstream media. They, it, it is a, a sort of target at the moment. Yes, and this is the thing. I wrote this play because I didn't want to be too left or too right. I wanted to try and regain some more of the what I think is sort of common sense and centre ground. I feel the problem we have in society and something I address in the play now is we are becoming far too polarised. We are either kind of agreeing with each other all on Twitter if someone is espousing something or we're shooting down anyone who doesn't agree with our opinions and it feels like we have lost the art of debate in society. No one is allowed to have an opinion anymore if it contravenes what most other people around you are saying. So I really wanted to make sure that this show wasn't going to be anti-Trump. You know, it criticizes the Obama legacy as well. I didn't want it to be sort of like uh, what people might expect when they see something like, you know, a titled fake news. I wanted to try and find that center ground and common sense that I do think in politics that we have kind of lost slightly. I just feel like we're far too polarized. So I hope that when people come and see this show, they will see that it is not pushing any sort of agenda. It is not Trump bashing. It really does have something to say about how the media works and how that is also reflecting what is happening in society right now. So I really hope that people do take that message on board. And so far, we've had a couple of previews. There have been really good audiences. You know, I've been really lucky to have great reviews. Also, the show is now pretty much sold out. We're adding extra dates. So if anyone is interested, in, watch this space. Um, so, yes, fingers crossed that it will go down well. Is it scary? I mean, obviously, we, we, you know, we, we think of you as, as being one of, one of the producers. I, is it scary, then, saying, actually, this is something which I have penned and that I am going to stand up on the stage and perform? Yeah, it's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> awful. I feel nervous every time I go on stage, but the thing is, I think that... It's just a story that I genuinely believe in so much, and I think that just helps you get over the nerves. And you obviously get used to it. Um, since, you know, while being a journalist, I then went to drama school, and I trained in sort of acting, and I've done other shows, and I've done a lot of theatre since. Um, but of course, when you're presenting your own work, it is nerve-wracking because it's totally exposing. I wrote it myself and, you know, it's all me. I still don't let my family watch it, even though they've wanted to come up and see it. It's just because it's very personal. but. I think ultimately the message of the play and what I believe that I have to say overrides that and um, 
luckily the response from audiences and luckily critics as well has been so positive that's just galvanized me on the journey as I keep going and hopefully there'll be more life in the show yet I would love to see it on TV I think TV is my natural habitat having worked there and I think there's a lot of good stories and anecdotes which would work well in a TV newsroom setting so uh, yes I yeah. feel really encouraged by it well, all you, all you need to do to, to wrap it all up for TV is to write the theme tune, sing the theme tune, and then you've done everything yes. else. <laughs> really good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.